I think the uh, the blueprint is already there. Start fast on Mugia. Back him up. Get him on his back foot. He's not the fastest footed fighter, so if you can get him on his heels, just like Derrick Chanko did from the first from the first round, that's how you start getting Mugia uncomfortable early. The rider can do that. Look at the size of Ryder's legs. He's a he is a gorilla. Yes, he is. Strong, compact fighter. I mean, I sized him up, and yeah, he's definitely a super middleweight. And I was saying earlier, he's a more intelligent fighter than people give him credit for as well. So he will be thinking about his work. I think it's important that every time Mungia throws a single shot, Ryder has to attack off that. Nice right hand and a left from Mungia. Ryder, as you mentioned, Barry, trying to throw between the punches. You can see that Ryder's already having Mungia on the, on the back foot. You know, Mungia's backing up himself looking for the right shot, but this is something that we're not accustomed to seeing. Normally, how many Mugia is the one on the front foot getting really aggressive, looking for openings and body shots. That front foot position of, of, of Mugia, he's got it on the outside straight away. That means he can get that right hand right through the guard there of, of Ryder and that left hand over the top top jab there is also of Ryder. This makes it a little bit difficult for Ryder to counter there. This may be the first time. Oh, good right hand there from Mugia. Caught him again and sent it down in round. It was a beautiful straight shot. He set that up by bending his knees. Mugia caught him clean with that straight right hand. And we're going to find out what John Ryder is made of in a situation like this. One of my concerns was that after a fight against someone like Canelo, do you still have that same hunger? You can bet Ryder's going to punch in between the shots. He's shook. Sure, he's shook up right now, but he's going to keep punching. Go Trying to hold on desperately is Ryder. Now you see Ryder coming with the right hook. Two right hooks right there. Got him again with a right hand did Mungia. There's three right hooks by Ryder. That's the thing about Mungia. When he has opponents hurt, he throws caution to the wind and doesn't move his head. He's just as vulnerable as his opponent. And we talk about Mungia's, you know, how, how he can recover really quick. But Ryder also has, has can recover quite quick, as we saw it against Canelo. Under pressure, he will fire back. Ryder has the experience that when, he, when he's hurt, He's going to take advantage of his over, the overaggression of his opponents. Oh, a swing and a miss. Mugia putting everything behind these shots. And there's Ryder, that right hand scores. I think there's more thought to Mugia's work as well. He's, he's still being busy, but he's thinking about where the target is, and he's aiming for it, rather than just letting his punches go unabandoned. I think Mugia's loading up a little bit too much, and that's what happens when you drop your opponent. He should be going back to what dropped him. And that was a clean setting up the jabs with a clean right hand. Whoa, stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This crowd still on their feet. Riders handled the pressure pretty well. But Mugia wants another knockdown here in the second. Great start for Mugia. I like that right hand that Mungia's been throwing to the body. That's, that's actually setting up the headshot. But he's doing it in a responsible manner, bending his knees. There it is again. That's right on the belt line. Let him go, let him go. Look up, stop, and That's something that Freddie Roach has drilled into Jaime Mungia. Don't be afraid to go a little bit low, whether it's on the hip or on the belt line, use the entire body. I love hearing that. You know, even if they warn you, don't stop going to the body. Shot there from Ryder, nice little left hand. Ryder trying to inch his way back into this after going down in round two. Nice little bounce on the on the toes of Mungia, which we're not accustomed to seeing. Oh, nice uppercut there by Ryder. He's on his toes, bouncing, looking for a nice right counter shot. I know Mungia is. Look at that. Feeling it. Crowd really into it here. The slower pace favors John Ryder. Oh, Fantastic job. <laughs> Tried that right uppercut counter, didn't quite catch him. 
you feel like he's settled down? Oh, and he's dead. Speaking of settled down, he gets knocked down for the second time. from Ryder, and there's a left from Ryder, but he took one as well. Now, Ryder's getting the worst of it in the inside. Yes, he's exchanging bravely, but Munguia's catching him cleanly. He's rolling the dice, Barry, because he has to, doesn't he? Yeah, but that right hand really dipped the legs out of John Ryder. He had to ask a lot of questions hey, of himself. No, he's rolling the dice, and he's, yeah, he, he, he's definitely going to cost him the win, but right now it's uh, favoring Munguia a little bit more. I think Mung Munguia has been the most controlled I've seen him. Good right hand, a crushing right. And John Ryder's got to find stop, something stop. quick. Stop, back up. Just like to see double up with that left hook. Just finish off with the head after he lands that body shot. Good shot. There's a right for Mugia who's pushing the tempo. Oh, and almost a knee touching for Ryder. And that first right hand is what John Ryder's still reacting to. Oh, he clipped it big again. The referee taking a look at Ryder. Ryder better clinch. He's getting hit too cleanly by a big puncher, Mugia. Yeah, you can tell Ryder doesn't have his feet under him. He's shook. Big right hook by Ryder. That's the one Ryder been setting up. And now it's Mugia holding on a little bit. Ryder's the type of guy who's going to go down swinging, so he's always going to be dangerous. But he needed that shot there. That just stopped the work, didn't it, Mungia, automatically. Hey, yeah, did. Mungia got rocks on that one. It was like a light switch. Turned now, off the offense. And now Ryder's going to the offense on the offense. Did a lot of work there. Mungia will tie there, trying to get the finish. Seconds ago, Ryder looked like he was about to be stopped. Now he's the man pushing forward. John Ryder's been down twice, but he's had some success here in the past few rounds. Whoa, and that went straight on the button. Big shot by Hami Mugia came around with an overhand right. Ryder didn't see that coming. Right on the top of the head. Ryder doesn't look good now. The eyes are telling a bad story for John Ryder. Can Munguia close the show? Can he do something that Canelo Alvarez couldn't do? Can he stop John Ryder, who goes down again? Tony Sims is up on the ring apron with the towel, looking to throw it in right now. Munguia loading up. And the referee can't see him. And they refuse to throw the towel in, but they want to stop the fight. Oh, big right. The referee says they're ringing the bell. They're stopping it. Kendall Alvarez, are you watching? Jaime Munguia has just stopped John Ryder. He's 3-0 with 34 knockouts. That was a statement win and a beatdown by Jaime Munguia. Forces John Ryder's corner to throw in the towel, stop this fight. That's how you turn heads in the super middleweight division.